everybody welcome back well today I'm talking about my monthly favorites and I feel like I have some new things to show you and talk about um, and kind of a couple of things are more like a haul but I haven't really had enough to share a haul lately so you'll see what I mean first off it's these earrings these are the Duchess earrings by Stella and Dot and saying some of you may Notice that I've been wearing them a lot. They've kind of replaced the sparkle studs for me, which if you're not familiar, um, the sparkle studs through Stella and Dot are so popular. They're $19. They look like, you know, real diamonds. And I love things like that because I can wear them and not worry about them. I'm not somebody who loses jewelry, but I just love something carefree like that, especially like on vacation. And I'm definitely more of a stud girl. I feel like once in a while, certain outfits, I like statement earrings, um, but most of the time, just day to day, I throw in some studs. So I'll show you a close up so you can see these, but I like that these are a little bit smaller and these remind me of a pair I had years ago and the stones kind of started coming out of the side of them. I don't even remember where I got those, but I loved those and I can never find anything just quite uh, like it, but these are close. So these are my first favorites. Absolutely love them. By the way, there's a matching necklace that goes with them too, if you're curious. So next, this was definitely new to me, um, probably in the month of April. I had seen this around a lot at local stores and I just decided to pick it up because I thought, you know what, once in a while I need this, whether I'm on vacation or a trip or just certain days my skin looks like it needs more hydration. So this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating um, Hyaluronic Acid Mask. So they also have another one that's more like in a greenish kind of color. Um, I can't remember exactly what that one is, but, and then they have ones in like little cup looking things that are like a sleep mask, I think. Anyway, this is a sheet mask. It comes in two different sections, like one for upper and lower. Um, but I really like this. I'm not a huge mask person. I kind of go in stages with it. I think because they're just so temporary, like they can give nice results, but it doesn't last very long. But I find um, really nice hydrating masks. I feel like there's another one that I really like too that I can't think of. Um, if I do, I'll list it below. Um, I like this because it seemed to last for like a couple of days. Like I actually got some really good hydration from it. So these are really inexpensive. I usually pick up a couple at a time and again, great to travel with. So I just did a look on this and I will link that below if you missed it. Um, it's the Urban Decay Naked Basics 2 palette. And I had a few questions asking me if I like this one more than the original Naked Basics. I never bought that one because it was a little too warm for me. Um, but I feel like this one would work with a lot of different skin tones. So it just looks like this. Again, I did a really simple, easy eye. It's similar to what I have on now, but I do have on the Too Faced. Here you go, the Too Faced Natural Eye. This is the new version that they sent me. I have been using this actually quite a bit. It doesn't replace the original for me. That's still my favorite, but I have been using it. Um, but again, it's a similar look, but if you want to check out that look, I will link it below. Next favorite I am wearing, and it is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation, and I think I talked about this, but I'm not sure. I have it in the color 120 Classic Ivory. Why am I all, the, all of a sudden feeling deja vu? Like, did I mention this last month in favorites? I'm not sure, <laughs> but all of a sudden I'm feeling like I've talked about this because I remember talking about the shade. Anyway, I am wearing it today and I like wearing, even though it's definitely a full coverage foundation, I like wearing foundations like this and kind of test them out um, more when it starts getting a little bit warmer because they hold up. So this is definitely a great drugstore foundation. Um, I definitely recommend the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous too. That's a nice drugstore foundation that it has nice coverage and kind of stays in place in the heat. But something I always do in the warmer months is set my makeup with powder. Now some people don't like to do that. But I just find it really helps to lock it in and stay all day and I can get away with it because um, my skin is slightly more oily in the warmer months and I usually can't get away with that, you know, in the winter because my skin's too dry. So loving this, although I have to say the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. Yep, phone call. <laughs> Those of you that tune in a lot, you know why I'm laughing. <laughs> it, must, it was a collar block, so it only rang once. Okay, so what I was saying, the Too Faced Perfect 
uh, Peach Perfect Come For Matte Foundation. I did a giveaway recently on this because Too Faced was nice enough to send me um, all the shades, or at least a lot of them. Um, I have it in the color Nude, and a lot of uh, my Insta stories, I've been wearing this lately, and I've had people ask me what I'm wearing. I have been wearing this. Um, I wore it in a recent skincare video as well. Um, so this has given this a run for the money. I'm kind of testing them out between the two to see which I like better. So that's why I put this on again today because they're very similar in that they're both, you know, full coverage. This may have a little bit more coverage. Um, but anyway, I'm kind of debating which I'm trying to see which one I like best, but I want to put this one in my favorites because I've definitely been using this more. And if you remember, I had this a while back in the incorrect shade and I did not care for it. So having it in the right shade definitely makes all the difference and I do really like it. So next I'm going to talk about a bag and this is where it's kind of a haul, kind of a favorite. I'm actually taking this on an upcoming weekend trip with me, which stay tuned because I should have a video kind of a uh, some new packing systems and things like that. And I know you guys like to see packing videos, but I usually only do them when I'm taking a trip. So that's why they're kind of sporadic. But this bag right here, and I showed this on my Insta story. It's so big. I'll try to insert a picture here of me that I shared on Instagram. I just love the print. So I wanted to show that. It does have some pockets right here. So the company Rock Paper Flower sent me that bag and along with a couple of other ones and they had seen some of my cruise videos and asked if they could send me something and you guys know I love a bag. I don't turn down a bag because to me you can just never have too many bags and you can always use different ones for different occasions. That's the way I look at it. I have a lot of bags but I use all of them again for different things. That bag would make the perfect vacation bag or beach bag because it's nice and big. Again, I'm taking it with me on an upcoming weekend trip, but cruisers, you would love that bag because not only is it a cute pattern, but they have other patterns and they have things that match. So if you're somebody that likes matching, they have tunics um, that match bags. They have like little hair bands. I just think you guys should check out the site because I was really impressed when I saw the website and they have other things than bags and like tunics and clothes. They have like items for entertaining. Um, just really cute site. I really liked the different patterns and then th they just had other things. So if you are someone that likes to match, um, certain patterns have a wide variety of items in it. But uh, I just wanted to show you that bag because I know many of you love a good bag like I do and I'm really enjoying this one. So next is a shampoo. I feel like I haven't probably talked about a shampoo in a while. So this thing's huge here and you can see it has a pump. This is from Costco. It's the Kirkland Signature Professional Salon Formula Moisture Shampoo for healthier, softer, shining look, shining, shinier looking hair. It's ultra luxurious shampoo. It says safer color treated hair, which I have. It's sulfate free, 100% vegan, paraben free, and gluten free. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you remember me talking about when I last had a haircut. I don't know, maybe a month ago, a few weeks ago. Um, my style and I got to talking about um, why my scalp was itchy sometimes. And I had told her, you know, for the last year, I think in April, it was year that I was using Monate. And Monate really helped cut down on my scalp being itchy. Not only did it give new growth to my hair, which she could totally see and agreed with, um, it was one of the few shampoos and systems was not making my scalp itch. All of a sudden, it seemed like I went through a period where it was like everything was making my scalp itch. And I tried everything, researched so much, you know, all kinds of shampoos, and just once in a while. Well, this triggered her to tell me about a client of hers that is gluten sensitive. Um, and it was the gluten in some shampoos that were was irritating her scalp because she knew um, that I had had some food sensitivity, so she just wanted to bring it up. And so all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me that that may be the culprit? Because I am gluten sensitive, I have been tested for it, I can eat um, gluten, you know, bread, things in moderation. If I go too far, um, which I actually have recently, I will know it. I will break out in a rash, I will have symptoms, my body lets me know when I've had too much. So. Uh, we did some research while I was sitting in the chair on best gluten-free shampoos because she couldn't remember the one her client 
um, had used. So we were looking, this was number one and got the best reviews. And I actually really like it. It's a nice shampoo. You guys let me know in the comments if you guys have used this. It's a really nice shampoo that reminds me kind of like of um, a cross between Alterna, which Alterna, one of one or two of the Alterna shampoos was on that list as well. So it reminds me kind of between Alterna and Purology. It's um, very thick, the shampoo, and you know, like most sulfate, sulfate free shampoos, the lather is very luxurious. Um, and so it's very nice. I think a lot of you would like this and I'm really enjoying using it and it doesn't make my scalp itch so far. So speaking of another shampoo that I bought that day when I was in the salon, um, I've used Preology before, but sometimes I wonder if the Hydrate one, the one in the purple, if it doesn't make my scalp itch a little bit. Um, but this one in particular, she thought I should try. This is the Strength Cure. And I just bought the little ones to try because I didn't know if I'd like it. So this says um, it's for micro scar damage color treated hair. It's 100% vegan ingredients. Why I got this is because um, I had told her not to get into a big hair story, but I had told her that my hair seemed very dry. And if you guys remember the last time I got low lights and highlights back earlier in the year. The low lights just grabbed really funny and then I had to get highlights right after. Well, I think all that happened because my hair had been getting really dry. So I have quit using the Monate for a while. I'll probably go back to it at some point. But my hair just needs a break. My stylist thought it needed a break. It, it seemed like it worked really good for a while and then just quit working and my hair seemed to get like really dry. So. That's the reason for this. And again, the scalp itch, um, since I'm not using Monet, sorry, this is like a long-winded version of trying to get why this is in my favorites, I apologize. So for the scalp itch, that seems to be working. The Kirkland, this doesn't seem to bother my scalp either. And again, this is the Strength Cure. Um, and I'm using some other things, just trying to get the hydration back to it. I'm always looking at my hair when I have it like pulled up um, it always looks really dark and the roots seem to be very dark lately, so, but I don't get to highlight it again until next month. Okay, so a self tanner. Um, this one is a new one because they did not have the Saint Tropez in the blue bottle that is my favorite. Um, so I decided to get this and I feel like I saw someone on Instagram talking about this and I'm not sure. I want to say it's Brittany Leverly Gray, but I'm not positive. So I thought I would try it. This is in the medium and it's the St. Moritz, I think is how you say it. And I will list it for you below. And I really like it. It's very similar to St. Tropez in that it's that really luxurious feeling foam when you put it on. And I use a mitt because it is a foam. Um, it just feels really nice going on. And I feel like it develops pretty quickly. I don't think it lasts as long as the St. Tropez, but it's definitely like a, streak free formula you wash off you know the color guide so if you're not when you hear people say color guide um that's when your skin looks really dark and then you wash it off in the shower and you can see it kind of run down the drain but the color guide is so when you're putting it on it's more bronzy looking and you can see where you're putting it i really like this again i don't think it lasts quite as long as the saint tropez but is very similar and about half the price so if you're looking for something um i do have this on i just put it on um yesterday i feel like it looks much darker it's one of those like when you wash off the guide it's not as dark but boy when it develops you're like oh this is really good <laughs> so i always try to wait like a day after to let it really soak in so like i put it on yesterday and then i took a shower today so anyway just wanted to tell you about this so just a couple more things again if you follow me on stories this is kind of where it comes into a haul um, but I wanted to add it in the favorites. I got this in April. It was part of my goodie bag from QVC when I went to the reward style conference. I've tried a lot of living proof products like a lot of them, but this one was new to me and I actually want to go get a small little travel size for my upcoming weekend trip. I like it that much. So this is the full dry volume blast. And basically it just this instant lasting volume and texture. I mean, I seriously one day, cause my hair can get a little flat the day after I wash it, which is today. That's why I threw it up. Um, and so sometimes I like to just spray something like this in the roots, but I don't want to use dry shampoo because that adds too much grit and makes my hair feel dirty most of the time. This I liked. Um, it does have a pretty strong scent. 
like a lot of the Living Proof products do. It didn't bother me. It kind of went away after a while. I think if you were used to using this all the time, you probably wouldn't notice. It was just new to me, so I did. Um, but it's really nice. I just lifted up a few sections and sprayed it in. And I mean, there was volume, but it wasn't like crunchy, hard hairspray kind of volume. It was just nice. I mean, I really like this stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna buy a small one so it can travel with me. So last thing is a pair of shoes. If you, again, if you follow me on Instagram, I had shared these shoes and asked about sizing for you guys. So I was able to size down and I've posted, I think a picture or two of me wearing them on Instagram, but I love these and they are definitely so much better in the correct size. I had originally bought a half size up. So get your regular size size in these. I had originally bought a half size up because in the Gigi sandal, I needed to go a half size up. So I just thought, oh, in sandals, sometimes I need a half size up. No, I didn't get the regular size because they're very roomy in here. And I'm someone, I wouldn't say I have a real narrow foot. It's not wide. I don't know. To me, it's just normal, I guess. But, um, there was a lot of room. I mean, it wasn't so much the length that was weird. It was a lot of room here. Like they would have just fallen off my feet. So I love these and I love this color and they come in other colors. They come, I think in a really pretty orange and um, like a gold, I think white, a lot of other colors. I really liked this color because it just goes with everything and I didn't really have anything um, this nice brown color. Everything's more of like a nude in my Tory sandals and all that. And the footbed is very cushiony and nice. And again, these are just one of those you can just slide your foot in. They look cute. You can wear them with all kinds of things. So I wanted to mention those. Well, I've officially talked your head off. Leave me a comment below if you guys have tried any of this and what your thoughts are. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any future videos. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.